Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is two five oh. Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe We don't like the hair weave We don't like the eyelashes The fake eyelashes Men think fake hair and makeup make sisters look like clowns. Did this brother okay. just say that? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we get to see this brother who took to social media to vent about how brothers don't like the fact that sisters have continued to wear weaves and makeup despite brothers not liking it. Okay? So without wasting much of your time, let's get into it. Let's watch this video. Let's see what this brother has to say. We don't like the hair weave. We don't like the eyelashes, the fake eyelashes. We don't like the all the makeup, right? That's making them look like yammies and transformers. It seems oh, trendy. like the more and more they wear it. It seems like they are either deaf to what we're saying or they don't want to hear what we're saying. Or they the nigga said they deaf. They ain't hearing you, dog. It's one thing about Black Queen. She she will tune your nigga ass out in the heartbeat. She will tune your nigga ass out in the heartbeat. Say, hey, Black Queen, I told you I don't want it. I don't want you doing that in public. I don't want you talking about my personal finances when we go out to these nice dinners. I don't want people knowing that I ain't got no money. Well, you, you should get some goddamn money with your broke ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> just want to be opposite of us so badly. We think it make you sisters look like clowns. We really do. We're not attracted to it. We don't like it at all. And when we see a woman who carry herself like that, the first thing that comes to our mind is she a nightcrawler. She a streetwalker. Damn. She's a worker. They saying she a hoe, she a street, she walking them streets. Are you walking or are you working? She's she's selling that mouth, she's selling that box. And uh yeah, dressing scantily, they they thinking that you selling it, little mama getting that bill paid. It's just what comes to our mind, I'm telling you that from a man's perspective, from a man's point of view, and you can ask any other man that you know. Okay, I, I okay, I feel I'm like, I want to see what the hell you look like. I want to see what the hell you look like. I don't want to go to bed with uh, I went to bed with Ashanti and I wake up with Freddy Krueger. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Skin tone. That's what we like, and that's what we put a ring on and wife up and marry. And that's just how it's all. Feel insecure in a situation. They profess their views. They manipulate. This, this is what I was saying about black black queens. Um, they will get on your ass every time you talk to them. This is why um, I rule over them every chance I get. I'm one of them niggas. We gonna, I ain't going to put my hands on you. I'm going to give you a tongue lashing that your black ass will never forget. Yeah, let, let's, let's see what she got to say. Now, he came with them with respect, with a perspective. Look how the black queens will get on your ass persuade and then they try to convert as a means of control or at least they try to so if you think that a high value man because if it wasn't clear before let me tell you their opinions are the only ones that matter at this point in time if you oh, think that a go. high value man does not enjoy y'all heard that right y'all heard that right she said a high value man is the only man that matters. So unless you got some money around most women, I ain't gonna say black queens, but uh, women in general, they ain't gonna listen to you unless you got some money. He came to the black queens with respect. R e s p e c k. She he came to the black woman with respect, with genuine concern, with a genuine perspective, and she talked about the pocketbook. 
She talked about the pocket, but you're broken ashy. I ain't listen to you. You're broken ashy. Boy, looking down from time to time and seeing a gorgeous pair of lashes while he's in like We don't like the hair weave. We don't like look, the look, eyelashes. Look, 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 look. The fake eyelash. We don't like ashy lips. Here we go. We don't like poverty. Here we go. <laughs> we don't like working nine to fives and taking care of kids at the same time. Ooh. Black men like you always complain about why we wear wigs, weaves, makeup, and lashes. Oh my God! But y'all are some she of the. She said we don't like poverty. We don't like how she lived. I told you when you when you get on a black woman, you better bring your egg and you better dress nice. You better make sure you got some lubricants on them big black African lips because they gonna look at you like, uh, I know your broke ass ain't trying to speak up. <laughs> I know your broke ass ain't trying to stand up for yourself. Now, I'm going to push back on her a little bit. You are, I mean, I don't understand how, what is your, all that makeup looking like a man have to do with you working and providing for your for your baby. Um, It is your baby at the end of the day, too. But they look at it like, if we have a family, a man just supposed to take care of me. A man just supposed to take care of me. You must be out your damn mind. You see the cost of rent? Motherfuckers losing their job left and right. People getting evicted. People can't afford it. Oh, come on. Don't don't get me started. Biggest colorist, featurist, texturist in the U.S. of A. We don't like. Sorry to burst your bubble, but we do not wear Ooh. the weaves, the eyelashes, and the makeup for men. We do not wear it for men. Dear men, you have been dissented. Women do not do all those things for you. Do you know how expensive it is? To she said they don't look good for the men, and you wonder why y'all keep... Only one out of four y'all will get married. She said we don't look uh, we don't look good for our, we ain't even trying to look good for that. That's the black queen is what we gotta deal with. Not all of them, not all of them, but uh, she's saying she she telling the point blank. We ain't looking good for you, especially if you broke and you got ashy lips. <laughs> we don't like poverty. <laughs> we don't like working a nine to five and coming home and taking care of the children, and we not looking good for you. Now she do look like a, a grizzly bear with all that goddamn makeup. She do look a little mannish. She she do she she's on the Dennis Robin side of life, right? Maintain ourselves as women. And so do you think that we are doing all that for men? If we were doing all those things for men, then we will be operating at a loss. Because the average man cannot even give his girlfriend or his wife five hundred dollars for monthly maintenance. And 500 oh my god here we go with the money black women what's going on we, we, you know what i've seen enough reaction i'm getting excited i will meet y'all on the other side if you guys want to check out more of this would y'all like to know my opinion would y'all like to know my opinion of course you do. that's why your ass is here it's so sad that uh it's so sad that the only way you're going to get respect in this world is if you get the money. That's why I, say, I, I pray to the Lord that he bless me on the real. We having a heart to heart real quick. Then we're going to have some funny. But I pray to the Lord that he get me up out of this predicament. Like, uh, I am grateful. I just hit a thousand. For those of you who just turning in, just tuning in to my channel, thank you guys for coming in. I am grateful for every like. I am grateful for every share, every comment, every subscription. Uh, my other video, I did an appreciation video. There's 37 million videos uploaded to YouTube every single day. And I'm just grateful that, was, that you guys love me enough to continue to watch me. And I hit all three thresholds. And that's why I said the fair use. I'm, I'm, I'm following the guideline. I, I, the nigga was out of line, right? I was out of line. But I just pray that uh, things work out. That's what my channel is all about. Encouraging y'all to give y'all best. Especially the men. I know most of my... Uh, most of my followers, uh, the people that watch are men. And this is why I say, man, you got to get right with God. You got to get right with God. You got to get right with the universe, meaning like you got to treat, treat God's children right. You never know what somebody's going through. So you got to get yourself together, get your emotions together, get your head straight, whatever's hurting you, whether it's porn, whether it's drug addiction, whether it's alcoholism, all these things is keeping you from being the man that God wants you to be because... Um, even with all those intangibles, you're working on yourself. You may not have the money yet, but you're just a really genuine dude. You have a lot of great characteristics in these day and time. Not all women, 
But these raggedy black heifers, right? They're all heifers. They're baby cows. They're black baby cows. And the reason why I'm saying this is that the dude never disrespected the black woman, right? He never disrespected the black woman. And he's presenting himself. He said, I'm a man that stands on business. I'm a man that stands on value. I have values. And all they can see was his black ashy lips touching each other. All they can see was his, his little nappy fro, right? That's why I say I encourage you fellas, whatever you do, whether you work in a fast food, where you want to be a doctor, you're trying to be getting into engineering, you're trying to get into construction, man, go to the top, you know? You got your little paycheck, go to the top. You starting off at the bottom, your general labor, then work, get one of those uh, construction equipments, you know? Work yourself up to the crane. Don't limit yourself. Because remember, a lot of these people, a lot of these women that you, you know, you want none of these heifers are built to stay with you while you want to come up. Now let's get down to this hair. First point, like I said, uh, in our community, for the most part, if you ain't got no serious money, they, our black women ain't gonna really take you serious. American women ain't gonna take you serious. Where's women from the Western Hemisphere are not gonna take you serious? And it's so sad. Because they're it, it actually going to backfire on them when they get old and crusty and you know, they think the economy is bad. Now, wait till you get... See, it's easy. It's okay to fight the economy when you're young, when you're 50 and under. When you start trying to fight the economy, 55, 60, 70, you know what I mean? So, they pass up a lot of opportunity to get with a man they could have built together. Um, it's so sad that nobody's going to listen to you, especially in the black community. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is your assets and your bank account. The first thing I'm going to hit is your bank account. You're not worthy of talking to me, handling me like this. Um, second point, a lot of our black women have trauma. So that's why even if a woman, a black woman disrespect, like I pull it to the side. This is why uh, y'all don't have to follow me, but this is my thing. All, all women, I rule over them, right? I don't have to have money to rule over you. My presence, my genuine, uh, my genuine personality, my effectiveness, my work ethic, and my confidence is all I need to get a woman in line, right? That's all I need to get a woman in line because you will not disrespect me, especially if we're in a relationship, that, that ain't gonna happen. Kick them out. The third point, now, like, I, like I'm hard on a black woman. I Let me just get this cleared up. I love black women. They're the most curvaceous. Going to the third point, they're the most curvaceous women out of all women in the world. If you ever look at a black woman, I kiss a lot of black women. Their lips are so curvy and soft and juicy. Everything a black, about a black woman is curvy from their lips to their breasts to their hips and their ass. Black woman's ass is the biggest and the most round, the most curvaceous of all women in the world, right? Second in line is the Latinas because a lot of them are, have some type of black in them. Brazil, uh, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago. What's another Latin? Uh, Honduras. I didn't know there were blacks in Honduras. Honduras, anywhere there's Afro-Latinos, black Latinos, you know, then third, so it's blacks, it's Afro-Latinos, then it's Latinos, like pure Latinos, just Indian and Spanish. Uh, their bloodlines to the Indians and their bloodlines to Spain, because Spain conquered all those Spanish-speaking countries. That's why they speak Spanish. They all came from Spain. So if they're just pure Indian and Spanish, right, coming from Spain, they are built very nice too. Their legs, their hips, their long hair, they're, they're third in line. Very beautiful. Then it's the Asian and whites is a toss up, and all the others. You know, you got your your Polynesian. They 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 curvy too. But the number one is the black woman. The black woman is the most beautiful woman, the most curvaceous woman. Now let's get to the hair and the makeup. First, we talk about the black woman and all women. Let's talk about all women first. It, he is right from a man's perspective. Women are beautiful. I don't know who's telling you women that. Not putting on the lash is going to stop a man from running up, and you're going to get a man. If you clean, if you take your showers, if you dress girly and be dainty and be feminine and be a pleasant to be around, a man really ain't going to care what you look like without all that stuff. He's going to run up in you. So you will get a man. Trust me. You will get a man. Because a man will see, you want a man with money. Well, he wants to see what is he spending his money on. A man will see what is he truly 
spending his money on. Um, there's a lot of, now I'll be fair to the black queens. In America, there's a stigmatism about our cultural background, about our hair. They hate dreadlocks. They hate dreadlocks. It's unprofessional. It's untamed. It's all these excuses. They hate Afros too. Everything about black people in our culture, they hate, right? But they always trying to copy it. The black woman has been told that their natural hair is disgusting and it's not up to standards. You got to remember, they've been pushing education on our black women for a long time. And now they have suppressed their roots, their natural hair in order to, because they've been conditioned and groomed into being uh, corporate professionals. Corporate professionals is overriding the, the roots, right? Your hair, your hair is kinky. They say, I don't give a damn about this kinky hair. I'm going to throw on a wig because I need this job. I got I to gotta graduate. I got to look like everybody else. I got to fit this European um, standard. How can you fit a European standard if you're African? Your bloodlines are African. Your hair will never be like a white woman. Your hair will never be like an Asian woman. You're not a stringy hair uh, species. You don't come from those bloodlines. A black woman's hair is kinky. It's nappy. It's supposed to be nappy. Cause your ass is black it come from africa so black woman has been talked about even when she has a little in new orleans they call it a little bush but in, when a black woman wears a little afro they get talked about bad especially in the hood black women get talked about bad she can't grow her hair they talk about the girl with your little bald head ass well most black girls can't grow their hair past i mean tradition just grow their hair past their nipples you know, I haven't seen too many black women that can grow their hair. I'm talking about just like Rapunzel. Their hair doesn't grow like that. Unless they have, maybe if they have braids, but, you know, but the braids, their hair may grow longer than that. It may hit the nipples, but now they're losing their edges. So the, the hair is just designed to do certain things. You know, your the hair, the kinky hair, you're not even supposed to apply heat to your hair. You're not even supposed to be uh, straightening your hair out like that because the heat damages the hair. So what is the black woman supposed to do? What is a black woman supposed to do? So to be fair to the black queen, she's, she's been told that, well, on one hand, my black man want to be natural. On the other hand, the corporations saying that it's disgusting and I don't fit their European standard. I need to straighten it out or comb it. I need to do something with my hair. And, you know, in the hood, they talk about how we don't, how we always bald headed. So women always wear a hat. But here's the thing, black men, for, well, most black men don't care about your little afro. You look cute with your little afro. How about this? Um, go put some hoop earrings on. Get you a cute little uh, outfit and you're good to go. Make sure your afro... All you gotta do is wash your hair. Wash your body. Wash your hair. Get your perfume on, baby. Get your little lip gloss and head out. We're just talking about the hair. Now, all that extra makeup, yes. When you start wearing weaves... now. I don't mind if my a black woman wear a weave. Me personally, you black women look very cute with their weave. You know, um, my only thing is y'all y'all flood my comments. I just think the the weaves that are different colors. I think that's a little bit much. You got different color weaves, and you got uh, all this all this makeup. Start looking like Mimi from Drew Carey. I'm gonna put a picture down here. When I do the edit, uh, you look like the black Mimi from Drew Carey. You look horrible. Like Sexy Red and Meg Thee Stallion. Now, they can kind of get away with it because they're famous. People going to overlook it. But if I saw a girl with red hair and all this stuff, the media thing, I think she's just too rebellious for me. I know that she ain't going to listen to me. It represents rebelliousness. It represents thoughtiness, right? Because that's what thoughts wear. You wear the, in the black culture, if you got weaves or different hair colors and you get the long fingernails, it's just, it's just too much for me. We want a woman that's reserved. We want a woman that, like he said, is naked. So, yes, now not just black women. Now, we're going to talk about all women. Too much makeup. Make y'all look like Mimi from Drew Care. Make y'all look like Tranny. Y'all do look like freaking men. The reason why, not because so much... It's not so much that the makeup is too much. Well, it's that. It's too much makeup. You got to remember, we're living in times where men are trying to be like y'all. So it's very hard to tell the difference because they put on so much. And then y'all putting on so much, so y'all looking the same. 
there's a lot of men that's going to take women's place right now. So in a dating world, all that crazy hairstyle, that's, that comes from the trans world, right? That comes from the drag queen. Drag queens wear these elaborate and flamboyant and bright colors. That's from the drag world. That didn't come from women. Traditional makeup is just enhanced. Now, little, little bitty eyelashes, that's cool. Enhanced. It's not supposed to cover your face. It's supposed to enhance your features. If you don't have any eyelashes, it's okay to get eyelashes, but just a little bit. They come out curly, just a little bit. If you want to make sure your lips look sexy when you go out, you want to have that going on, just a little bit of lip gloss or a little bit of makeup or in the makeup color, maybe some nude, you know? Women have so many ways to make themselves look pretty. Go get you a little earring. Go to the mall, get some earrings that you can afford. Earrings, a little bit of gloss, a little bit of makeup, little not the not the the caterpillars. No, 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 not the bird wings, not the bat wings. Don't get the bat wings on your fucking face, right? Get the short eyelashes, eyebrows, short eyelashes, a little bit of gloss, a little bit of lipstick, preferably uh, nude colors. Um, the eyebrows, we don't like those thick eyebrows looking like Shaq. Just get you some natural, um, keep your eyelashes, just get them arched. Just get them arched. I even seen girls with different color. You know how they shave off the eyebrows and they put like a different, like orange and brown. I'm like, you guys look like men because all that, um, uh, extravagant, flamboyant makeup comes from the drag queen world where these men dress up in drag, they dress up in women's clothing, and they have all these different color wigs. That's what you guys look like. <sighs> like I said enough, did I cover all the bases? Y'all flood my comments. I would love to know what y'all think about women wearing too much makeup. And should broke men, do broke men, have a space to voice their opinion? Especially with black women. 250, I'm gone.